Welcome back. Loneliness is something that a lot of people struggle with. According to the Surgeon General, about half of adults are lonely. So we decided to bring in an expert for tips on making new connections, ways you can be a good friend, and how to let your loved ones be there for you, too. Dr. Joy Harden it, Bradford is a licensed psychologist. She started Therapy for Black Girls. It's an online community dedicated to mental wellness, and she is the author of a new book. It's called Sisterhood Heals. Dr. Joy, good morning. What a perfect title, Thank because you. it is about the people who you have in your community. One person once said that you are the sum total of the five people you spend the most time with, mm -hmm. so choose your five wisely. Absolutely, absolutely. That's so important. And I think it's really important to think about how healing happens in community. You know, shame is really one of the biggest obstacles to mm -hmm. us connecting and healing. And when we are in community, when we're hearing other people share their stories, it makes us feel a little less alone and know that we are not alone with anything that we're experiencing. There is that feeling, you're right, because everyone's got something inside them that they're ashamed of. Yes. Every single person listening has it. And sometimes you'll, you might go your whole life and never say it out loud. Right. But it does take a safe place to say that thing right. out loud. And it's important to find that, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And again, there's nothing that we are the only person experiencing. Yeah. And we really just want to be seen. You know, it reminds me of these viral videos that are going around um, of little kindergartners graduating and yeah. like they're walking into the auditorium yeah. and looking for their people. Uh -huh. And they're kind of sad until they see like mom or dad and right, and they light up. And that never goes away. Like we never grow out of that wanting to be seen and, and connected with in that way. Well, finding community is something that's important important, but some people who are lonely either have had friends, they've moved, or maybe friends have passed away, yeah. or maybe they got divorced and they used to have a friend group and they no longer do. Yeah. How do you begin again? How do you find that connection again? Yeah, so that's really important. And I think one of the most important things we can do is really to look into the backgrounds of our lives because sometimes there are people in the background, maybe the mom you see in carpool every day or the yeah. person who sits next to you in yoga. And you can take a little bit of effort to say, hey, do you want to grab a smoothie after yoga? Yeah. Or do you want to grab lunch after we drop the kids off? And that might be somebody who becomes important to you at some point. And also, I feel like you enter a room or a space with your own kind of vibe and energy. And some people are closed off and saying, well, I'm not meeting anyone. I can't make any new friends. But if you look at how they are entering a room, it would be hard to approach. You have to be an approachable person too, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And in my work, I have found that we often are one of four different types in our what circles. Are the four types? And so we are either the leader, yeah. the wallflower, yes. the peacemaker, or the firecracker. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you, by the way? The leader. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. So once you know your role, do you attract others who are in that role, or do you tend to, you know, if you're a leader, do you attract a wallflower? Mm -hmm. How does it work? So I think all of the, the different types can mix together, but it really is about how you show up. So if you're the leader, for instance, you might be the one who's organizing all of the events, but that also may mean that you become resentful because other people are not stepping up to plan ah. that. And so it is it is as much about how you show up, but also how people can support you. I love what you're doing because community is important. Some people th are, say they have community, but they have a community online. How do you draw the distinction? Mm -hmm. Well, online communities are incredibly yeah. important. You know, I don't want to dissuade people from making very important connections online, but if you can move that into real life, then I think that that is great too. That really does help with to deepen the sense of connection. Yeah, well, you've got such great advice. Uh, Dr. Joy, thank you so much. You're book is full of great ideas for people who are looking to make connections. It's important. Mm -hmm. It adds to happiness. It's called a oh, beautiful title again, Sisterhood Heals. And it does. We know that for sure. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel today all day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.